in China, the rise of the companion chat, which I mentioned earlier. Well, this economy reflects a growing societal shift as loneliness becomes a pressing issue, especially among younger generations. Social platforms are seeing a surge in users offering paid conversations with millions of views under the hashtag companion chat. Now, as China's single population increases with 134 million unmarried people aged 20 to 49, the demand for emotional companionship has spiked. According to China's Ministry of Civil, Af Civil Affairs, marriage registrations have dropped by nearly 50% in the past decade, further fueling the growth of this sector, which is expected to be worth up to $7 billion by 2025. This growing companionship economy encompasses both digital and human interactions, Otom video games, which simulate romantic relationships, have become increasingly popular as well, generating hundreds of millions of yuan in revenue. Major developers have tapped into this trend with interactive story-driven games, especially appealing to younger tech-savvy individuals. Alongside these games, AI-powered chatbots with customizable personalities are gaining traction as well, offering users a more immersive and personalized experience. I don't think any of the companions or the lovers in real life are perfect, but I can create the intelligent agents according to my preferences. I can define their personalities and experiences and the kind of storyline I can develop with them. So I think they have given me a lot of emotional comfort during my free periods at school. The paid companionship sector also includes individuals offering their services informally. While some clients seek romantic interaction, many are simply looking for someone to talk to. This informal market highlights the increasing commercialization of social relationships and suggests that the companionship economy in China will continue to expand, driven by changing social norms, declining marriage rates and a growing need for connection.